Sasha. Chill out, man. We did not come here for all that. Um, scrolling my TikTok, Alabama Barker always comes up on my For You page, and she kind of annoys me a little bit, because she's just like, she wants to be black so fucking bad. Mark my words, when that girl turns 18, she's going to be like the next fucking bad baby. Like, she's going to be super tan, lips done, ass fat. You mean to tell me you got on TikTok as a grown ass woman with the big ass Nike slogan across your chest to complain about a 17, a 17 year old who made a TikTok dancing with their friends? What the fuck has happened to the world? I don't know. Why bro. is it any of your business? Yeah, I was hearing on, on the internet that she was 17, hanging with mad grown ass women. Uh, can't really commentate on that. I don't even know what's really going on about the girl. I mean, I mean like, what did, what did she do? Like she trying to, you say she trying to act black. I don't, I don't. Who fuck cares? Who made you the authority on who can and can't do things? If I want to get a, I gotta realize too, bro. My, my people. people. Let me say this. Let me say this now before these niggas go off. Let me say this now. Uh, African Americans, uh, people of mel mel melanated skin, cold, or like skin. Uh, you feel me with melanated skin or whatever you want to say. Um, we are the most stylish, most. We, we are, are some, some of the most stylish, stylish some, some of the most influential, some of the most, like, taken from people. So, I feel as though when I see certain people kind of, like, I guess you would say appropriate and or trying to be us or emulate us or replicate us, I, I used to get upset. Now it's kind of flattering. Now, to which extent they do it is very important because you can get annoyed. Like, it's like yo, you, you can tell when somebody's trying too hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm more or less with the shit like, man, we're the most sought after, we're the most, you know what I'm saying, we're the, some of the richest, like, as far as, like, culture-wise, like, we have the most influence on all cultures, I don't know if y'all noticed that, I don't know if people, like, pay attention to shit like that, but I feel like, when other people in other cultures and other ethnicities do the shit that we do, I kind of just be like, well, they, I mean, like, they should, like, <laughs> niggas, we one of one, bro. Like, like we're, we're the, the only group of people who've made a negative, uh, you, you know, know, I ain't even about to go into that, that. But long story short, I'm saying all that to say, like, I expect this. <laughs> I expect people to steal the swag, jack the swag, jack the salt. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, we us, bro. Like, so I feel like we should, we should take attention. We should not be as offended sometimes. Maybe just be like, oh, okay, like. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm glad that we were able to influence you or, or, or you know what I'm saying like or just don't don't violate though you know what I'm saying corporate job suited up climb the corporate ladder board because that's what the fuck I want to do in my life does that make me more white yeah am I am I culturally appropriating white culture see that's that's the problem with this this ideology that I don't think a lot of black people understand y'all are basically forming an identity for what it means to be a black woman with just like miscellaneous things. And even if I would understand and agree with what you're saying, are you then saying that there's <laughs> other specific aesthetics that are, are specifically for white people? And again, if that's what you're saying, does that not also then feed into Ross's themes that continue to cloud all these conversations that we have? So you don't even, you I, it, it doesn't even dawn on you that's what you're saying. But there's no way that y'all see a white woman or white teenager dancing with other black teenagers and think that that's a problem, bro. I, let me reiterate, yeah. but I have this very famous theory. It's called boredom theory. And it's really oh, yeah, just, they're definitely bored. Yeah, yeah. Bored people will create problems to entertain themselves. This woman right here is obviously very bored. And the problem with being very bored is you don't just create problems for yourself. Sometimes you begin to create problems for others to entertain yourself, and that's when it becomes selfish. Right now, you are in the midst of criticizing a random young woman yeah, because you're bored. And I've been seeing this more and more, bro. She's we, looking we literally that like... that fucking gym TikTok where the, the lady was like calling this guy a creep. And then, you know, I saw an, I saw a new one since they dropped daily now. Yeah, I saw yeah. a new one that went viral. And apparently the guy, the new creep, everybody at the gym said he's the most kind hearted individual. And this woman tried to make him out to be this all because she was bored. So when your life runs out of problems, you'll create them because otherwise you'll be bored with life. So in this situation right here, you're creating a problem for someone that's not yourself as well. Stop doing it, bro. It's completely unnecessary. And also finish Fucking chewing before you begin to talk, please. All that. Alabama Barker, 
is going to be a fucking problem. Give it like three or four years. Watch. What? What kind of hate? I'm not about to do this with y'all all fucking Another? day. Another? Uh, 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 she's bored, dog. She's bored. She's about to be. She's, she's, she's uh, another, another thing that's very important too. She's 17, bro. She's underage. She's a kid, my nigga. Niggas is, she's still probably trying to figure out who she is, et cetera, et cetera, man. And if, again, if she's influenced by the culture, man, it is what it is, man. Just, just, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, fuck it. Let them look like, you know what I'm saying? I guess people, some people want to be on some gatekeeping shit. Uh, I don't, I don't think, think that's that, that important. Your problem? Are you freeing it? <laughs> She's yeah, about to be a problem. Yo, that's crazy. In what way? Because she got black friends and a big ass? Exactly. What wanna be black mean? She got black friends and a big ass. Exactly what wanna be black mean? I don't even think niggas should be commentating. <laughs> commentating on the, the, the ligaments. You feel me? This is an underage girl, my nigga. What are we talking about? <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I'm about to get out of here. Y'all, y'all, but I feel like. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even be speaking or reacting to this because now niggas is <laughs> out of line. I don't, why are we talking, talking about shorty ligaments? Come on, my nigga. I feel, I feel I'm feel feeling wild, uncomfortable in here. I'm, I'm dead feeling mad, uncomfortable. I'm about to bounce. Y'all see any other freakery? But are we getting anything else like this? I'm out of here. She better not even, you feel me? Converse. Black means. All of these comments like this are coming from fucking white people. You don't know Further, people hey, I'm, I'm, I'm black. I'm asking you the same thing. Proving my point that <laughs> no, this thing is funny. So y'all are just choosing to uh, turn the other cheek, like y'all don't see what the fuck she's doing and what she's promoting on her page. But every other person of color understands exactly what the fuck I mean when I say that she acts black. She does act black. I'm not gonna keep explaining it. Go to her you fucking page. You didn't ever look at explain it. You didn't yeah. ever explain it. I don't know. You never don't once know, explained First it. First of all, she's 17. I don't even want to go see her page. Don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> What she's talking about? No, she said what she's going to get is big lips. That's what that's what it means to be black for her. That's like isn't that crazy? That's like the most. Why? Why are you? Yeah, white? I, I hate that. That's kind of. Yeah, I, I, I get what they're saying too. Uh, is there any more videos of this shit? All right, cool. Let's see. He's minimizing blackness to just generic stereotypes. Oh, that's look, literally what we got. Yo, we, we got, got so much culture, bro. Like, like and and I don't want to. I don't want to really incorporate the whole. You know, the plastic, plastic surgery, surgery, surgery culture into us. Like, I mean, I, I feel as though we, that's a very small portion of our culture. Like, we influence kind of what the beauty standard is to a degree, even though they kind of demonize black women and they and they make it seem like, like, like remember back in the day, I don't know if y'all remember, back in the day, it used to be cool to be skinny. Like, if you had a fat ass or, or, or big, t you know what I'm saying? Or... Or like a, a rump, a rumbunctious woman, I guess. This I don't listen. I'm let me stop because that sounds crazy. If you had some weight on you, or if you had some shape to you, and you were uh not even plus size, just a little bit bigger than what the models were. Like I remember when you had America Tops model, and that was what the beauty standard was. If you had any kind of weight on you, and you weren't that skinny, and you weren't that tall, like long legs, you kind of weren't a part of the beauty standard. And let's be realistic. Back then, black women were not that. That was not. Uh, a, a large percent of the shape. shape. They, they were shapeful. You know what I'm saying? They were beautiful. All, all women are beautiful. They were, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they had a little bit more back there. And, and people would, like, make themselves throw up in order to not replicate that black women. But look look what the beauty standard is now. Now they're into big buzz and all. You know what I'm saying? But before, was, you know what I'm saying? And so I say all that to say, that's, that's a, a very small percent. percent. Like, that's, that's a very small. Uh, uh, uh. That's, that's a, that's a, a I'm going to say a, a, not even a genre. That's, that's like a small subgenre sub of what, what it means to, to be a part of black culture. culture. We got, again, we have so much fucking art, so much style, so much. We influence so many different genres of music. Like, uh, uh, come on, man. Like. I can go on and on, but outside of just sports and all, like, it's so much that we do in so many ways that we set the trends for other communities, and I feel like we don't get our credit, and I feel like that's what this should be about. Some 17-year-old white girl or some, or age, and it don't matter where she's from, like, man, if she, if she likes the culture or if she 
I see it, for example, she appropriates or whatever. Like, man, just be like, man, that's to be expected. We are some of the most trendy, trendiest people in the world. And this is not, it's not trendy for us. This is everyday living. But to the world, it's trendy. They want to take this from us, take that. And it's like, you know, uh, it is what it is. My nigga just, just be like, man, listen, I, I, you got to respect it. I, like, I can see, if, like, just, I feel like, just gotta respect it, like, yo, this is us, like, you know what I'm saying? There's the people we really out here doing it. Just, just and you think, you think that, and you think trying to snuff out somebody else, trying to act black makes what? What does that preserve exactly? Like, it's so fucking backwards. What, what does that do for? Just a, for, you're just for, a pointless creature. I swear you are, oh, because man. it's like you don't oh, yeah, do nothing for enough. other black people. Name me one fucking thing you've done for other black people. Name me one. She doesn't do shit. She just exists and creates problems for other people. This shit, you're fucking pointless. And this shit really, really pissed me off, bro. She's bored and pointless. Bored and pointless. And she's sitting here acting like, oh, other black people understand. I have no idea. I, I, I'm. Let me. I understand what she's trying to say. I get what it's she's trying. It's just. It's just a, a she terrible refuses, talking she's, point. She's refusing to explain it. She's doing a horrible job explaining <laughs> it, and it's a bad point. It's a bad point because you are literally playing on stereotypical tropes yourself. Yeah. That's that's why it's a horrible that's point. Only, yeah, let's say let's say a white people, person. Um, Got their lips filled, got a bigger ass, and started twerking. Let's mm -hmm. say a white person did that, right? And but the white person said, "Yo, I'm not trying to act black. I just feel like this is more me." Mm -hmm. Everyone would have a problem with that. We're like, what do you mean? You think those things are all? Why do you think it's all black? Yeah. Why, why do you think those are still? Like, yo, do you know that each person individually has their own identity, and that you don't have to?